Hello and welcome everyone to this new series on Python. In this series of videos, we will see how to deal with text data in Python. If you are new to the channel and still not subscribed to this channel, then do not forget to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so that you are the first one to know whenever I upload any new video. Now let's dive into Jupyter Notebook and see how to clean text data in Python. In today's session, we will see how to remove punctuations like comma, full stop from the text column so that we get a clean data set that can be used to draw useful insights. In the reviews text column, you will observe that there are few punctuations like full stop. Then we have here apostrophe s. Then you will also observe that we have comma in few of the reviews like here. So to create a clean data set, we need to remove these punctuations from the reviews. There is a list of commonly used punctuations already defined in Python library that is string. Let's import this library. Then let's see what all methods we have in the string library. This dir will give us all the methods that are present in the string library. So let's run this cell. Press shift enter. So this is the list of all the methods that we have inside string. So here you will observe punctuation. So we will make use of this punctuation method to get the list of all the punctuations. So write down string dot punctuation. And let's run this cell. Press shift enter. So this is the list of all the commonly used punctuations. Next, let's see an example of a string which contains punctuations and see how to remove these punctuations from the string. So this is the sample string. Here you will observe that we have different punctuations like at, then exclamation mark, dollar sign, then hash. So let's run this cell to see the output. We need to iterate through each of the character present in this string to remove these punctuations. So for that we will make use of for loop. So this is the code that I have written. For each character present in the variable a, that is this string. If the character is present in the string dot punctuation, that is this list of punctuations, then we need to replace the character with blank. Let me run this cell, which will give you better understanding. So this for loop iterated through each of the character starting from w then e then l and check whether the character is in string dot punctuation that is this list of punctuation marks if punctuation mark found that is add symbol then it has been replaced with blank so all the punctuations in this string have been replaced with a blank and here we have a clean string without any punctuations. Now we have to replace all the punctuations that are present in our reviews column. So we will write a similar code to remove all the punctuations from the reviews column. So for that, let's write a UDF that is user defined function. I have defined the UDF as clean underscore text that will take text as the input and apply all the steps as discussed above and return the clean text without any punctuations. Let me run this UDF. Now let's try this UDF on another variable. So here I have defined another variable B which has text hello and different punctuations before and after hello. So let me run this cell to get the output. I will apply the UDF clean underscore text on the variable B. Here 
D is acting as the input to the UDF clean underscore text. Let me run this cell, press shift enter. All the punctuations before and after hello have been removed. You will observe that here we are getting some space. So this is basically because we have this blank space after and before hello. To remove this extra spaces, we can write here text dot strip that will basically strip extra spaces that we have. Let me again run this cell. Run this cell again. Now when I will run this cell, you will observe that we won't get any extra spaces before and after hello. Let me run this cell again. So now all the extra spaces have been removed. Now let's apply this clean underscore text UDF that we have created to the review text column. To apply the clean underscore text UDF to each of the reviews, we will have to use apply method. First we are selecting the reviews text column from the data set and then we are asking python to apply the udf that is clean underscore text to each of the reviews present in the reviews text column uh, let me run this cell press shift enter now all the punctuations have been removed from these reviews let me show you the original reviews text column so that you can easily figure out that all the punctuations have been removed create a cell just above this cell press a on the keyboard and here we will write down data reviews text press shift enter so now you can compare both the outputs here you will observe that apostrophe has been removed then full stop has been removed from these reviews here you will see that we have an exclamation mark in the original reviews text column but now it has been removed so now let's create a new column in the data set that will contain the clean text that won't have any punctuations so i have named the new column as reviews clean text let me run this cell So here we have both the columns. This one was the original reviews text column and this is the new reviews text column that does not have any of the punctuations. You can even override the existing reviews text column by assigning this code back to the reviews.text column. I have created a new column just to show you both the columns so that you can compare that the punctuations have been removed so you can here observe that while i am so apostrophe has been removed from this then the comma has been removed from this new reviews clean text column so in this way you can make use of for loop to iterate through each of the character in the string and then remove all the punctuations with a blank so this was all that i had to cover in this session i encourage everyone to jump to jupyter notebook and practice whatever we have discussed in today's session in the next session we will see how to remove stop words from the reviews stop words are commonly used words like should would have and so on if we are doing analysis on text data these stop words won't help us to draw any useful insights so we usually remove these stop words from the data. I have added the Kaggle link of this Jupyter notebook in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this session was helpful. See you in the next tutorial.